Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where today we're going to check out some really cool products from Pinkzoa. Pinkzoa sent me over, gosh, stuff for you guys, stuff for me, a really cool eyelash perming kit which I got to try out we'll talk about as well as some gorgeous lashes which I am just like drooling over right now. We're going to put some of those on as well. So I want to thank Pinkzoa for hooking me up. I'll put the link down below so you guys can check them out and try and get us a discount code as well. So okay, I was really excited about doing my own lash lift. It is something that's very expensive. I've gotten quite used to doing things myself at home, whether it be my hair, my nails, a pedicure apparently. I'm gonna have to do that myself soon too. I just painted my toenails. So you know what I mean? Like we are all getting so used to doing it ourselves at this point with everything going on right now. Not, not only have uh, are some places still having issues with salons not being open, but um, financially, we're not in the same spot we were in 2019, and I imagine a lot of other people aren't as well. I got laid off with COVID, and you know, them twins happened, so I'm basically a stay-at-home mom now. So I thought it sounded neat. Not only can you use this kit for um, lash lifts, you can also use it to laminate your brows, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna do it. What I need to get first, though, are some of those little scissors so I can trim up my very long brow hairs. I don't know why, but they're unusually long. So I did the lash lift this morning and I gotta say it was much, much easier than I anticipated. Even after I watched several videos of other women doing it, I still thought it was gonna be pretty hard or that my uncoordinated self wouldn't be able to do it. There was no problem whatsoever. I do feel like I learned a lot from it doing it the first time, so I'll like try and give my little tips and tricks as we go through it. But I'm gonna pop a video up on the screen when I can and kind of show you what I did. So basically, this is what the kit looks like and everything that comes inside of it. Um, and we'll go through what each thing is for. But we have the guards that are gonna go on your eyelid that you're actually going to affix to your eyelid as well as affix your lashes to, which we'll talk about again in just a moment. You get all of the different solutions. You get some rods in there if you really want a curled lash, I assume is what that's for, as well as a little tool and eyelash glue. All right, let's start out with the very first thing you need to do, which is make sure your lashes are nice and clean. I was gonna skip this step, but then I realized there was a cleanser in there and I thought might as well give it a shot. Um, Q-tips will be your best friend when it comes to this lash lift set. So I just brought my entire container of Q-tips down here to be readily available. Um, I also had, um, from my previous lash extension days, I had some spoolies as well as a little tool that I used to um, push my lashes onto the piece. but. You could always use the other side of a makeup brush, really any kind, one of those dowel rods, one of the little dowels that's in the kit, you could use anything. But the cleanser did really work well on my lashes, I felt like. And then once you've done that, you're gonna apply your shield. Um, what I got from the videos that I watched previously is to trim it down. That was the biggest thing. You don't want the big giant uh, end honking off there. So so check it near your eye and see where you need to trim it if you do. Which I feel like I have very large eye balls. <laughs> I have very large eyes and I still had to trim mine. Then you're gonna apply the glue to the back of the shield and do your best to line that up without covering up your own lashes, getting as close to the lash line without kind of like having any sneak underneath it. Um, I found it easiest to kind of put my hand above my head and do it like this so that I wasn't blocking my own view. This and then the, the last step, second to last step, was honestly the hardest part for me, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Next up, you're going to glue your own lashes to the shield and they recommend doing this one section at a time. I can see why too because the lash glue it does dry <laughs> so you don't want it to dry before you get down there to push those lashes up. So you just want to make sure all of your lashes get glued down really easily. Like I said this step was much easier than I thought it would be and this is where you're going to use some kind of tool or something to push those lashes down onto the glue. You could use a spoolie, you could use uh, the other end of a makeup brush or one of those little rods that's in the kit as well. And then one of the things that I did that it doesn't say in the instructions is I took my spoolie and kind of brushed through my lashes as, as I was laying them down to make sure that they didn't get clumped together. Um, because however they're laying on that little rod thing is how they're going to look when you're all said and done. 
Now here's where I messed up. I don't think I put enough perm lotion on my lashes. They curled up, but I feel like they didn't stay as well as they could have. Um, and I even like <laughs> thought about it as I was doing it. I was looking in the mirror as I was waiting my 10 to 15 minutes and realized that it didn't look like I had a lot of perm lotion on it. So I think I would have yielded better results had I done that in the first place. But I still got really good results, so I'm not complaining. Um, so leave that on for 15, 10 to 15 minutes, wipe it off with a Q-tip, and make sure that you get everything. Then apply the setting lotion, leave that on for 10 minutes. Um, and I definitely went heavier with the setting lotion as I was applying it, um, just to make sure that I did a really good job this time. Uh, leave it on for 10 minutes and then clean it with a dry Q-tip. Same thing with the moisture lotion, except for you only need to leave this on for five minutes. Take your Q-tip, wipe your ex excess away. And then from here, this was the hardest part for me, removing your own lashes from the actual shield. But it says to get a toothpick to kind of pick your lashes off of there. Um, I didn't have one, so I tried using tweezers, which was only slightly terrifying. I definitely recommend getting a toothpick. I think a toothpick would have been the perfect tool to have. We don't have any. But you basically are going to go, the little space that you've left in between the shield and your lash, you're going to pick off those lashes one by one. That way when you pull your shield off, which didn't hurt, it wasn't, it was stuck on well, but it didn't hurt coming off whatsoever. But when you take it off, it's much easier. Um, I think too, another thing I could have done was taken micellar water and just kind of went over the lashes. I think that would have helped to make them easier to come off. However, I only lost two lashes in the removal of the first one, so I can't complain. And then I used micellar water to get all of the excess glue off of my lashes as well as my eyelid. Ending results, it looked like I had curled them very well but I hadn't and they'll stay like that so I'm really excited to continue to use this product oh another thing like I did it one eyeball at a time I feel like I could definitely have done it two eyeballs at a time so if you get this kit know that as well I wouldn't be afraid and just do one eye at a time when your lashes are affixed to the shield you think you're not gonna be able to see very good because they probably, I don't know why I thought that. But anyways, it doesn't really hinder your eyesight. So like I curled my hair in between while I was waiting on steps. I put my nails on. I just kind of enjoyed the process. So yes, all in all, lash lift set, really cool. Definitely would make a good gift idea for anybody that is like a makeup enthusiast in your life. And I'm excited to try it for brow lamination. So definitely give it a big old thumbs up. Now, let's look at these lashes. Cause, um, hello. They are so stinking cute. First off, the packaging on these, which I have, I have two different packages, but the packaging on these, especially, so stinking cute. So let me go through these lashes and tell you which one is which. Okay, so the first ones are A-game. They're absolutely stunning. So they're more of like a full lash. It does have some areas scattered out that are a little bit longer than others, but for the most part, it's the same on either end. There's not, it's not fanned out at the end. But those are gorgeous. And then, like in this packaging, we have Glorious Waves. They are definitely more tapered out towards the end, but also still has those little cluster areas. Absolutely stunning. Then we have Fur Warrior. Holy heck, these bad boys are so full and gorgeous. They as well kind of fan out towards the end, but they're so much fuller and just stunning then we have secret fantasy these are uh gorgeous as well and then the last two we have are irresistible and damsel i don't know which ones to pick to put on today though because they're all so stinking gorgeous i feel like i am leaning towards irresistible so their application process says measure and trim the lashes apply the lash glue liner just like eyeliner and then apply the false lash directly to the eyeliner double the glue to inner and outer corners if needed after doing the lash perming kit i know how good this lash glue is so i'm excited to use it and the bottle is absolutely stunning too i'm not gonna put it on like eyeliner though i'm gonna put it on the lash and then apply it just like i normally do got a little eyelash tool here i'm gonna use it to take the irresistible lashes out of the box 
These are reusable lashes too, so if you take good care of them and clean them when you're done, you can reuse them. So you wanna keep the box to put those back in. Um, one of the things I like to do with lashes, which these don't really seem that stiff, they seem very, very bendable. Um, but normally I have to like take the lash and do this little number, but it's like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like sometimes the lash, the lash line or whatever is so stiff. So I don't think I have to do anything there. They are so thick and gorgeous. So I'm going to take the lash and the lash glue and just line that lash with that lash glue. We're doing a little bit more on either end. I didn't measure it against my eye. I normally do, but quite honestly, it's very rare that I trim a lash because I have big eyes. All right, it doesn't say to wait after you coat it. However, most lash blues, you do have to wait until it gets a little bit tacky. So I'm gonna give it a second. Not too long, cause I feel like in one of the videos I watched, the, la the glue did dry really quickly. All right guys, I'm gonna zoom you in for this part. All right, here's hoping I can get these on without issue. But I usually get the middle first part, get that, and then go in with the inner. Wow, these are really full lashes. And there we go. That is one lash on, one lash not. They are pretty, right? Alright, I'm just going to pop the other one on really quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, both of them are on. So pretty. I cannot wait to try the rest of these lashes because I'm like I'm digging them. All right, my lovelies, I feel like ready to go out. Like <laughs> I'm loving these lashes. Um, okay, wait a second though. I have so many. I've got to gift a few on to you. So randomly, I'll pick out a couple. I'm gonna give two of you guys away one pair of lashes each. Um, just check out the description box. I'll put everything down there, including a link to Pink Zoa, as well as a discount code if we get one and anything else I think you guys might need to see. This was extremely fun. Not only did I get to try out some gorgeous lashes, but I also got to do my own lash lift and I have a, I can do a brow lamination if I want to, which I've been very curious about. And I thought about doing the Just For Men thing with the brows. That would be a good little combo. Laminate, tint them, do fun, maybe. Really quick, thank you so much to Pink Zoa for sponsoring today's video, and thank you to you guys for watching. You really do mean the world to me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a big old thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I guess that's it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go for now, but no worries. I'll be back very, very soon. To then, my lips. Bye!